So far, we've talked a lot about tmux commands and how they map to key bindings, but these same commands can be executed from the command line. Let's make a pop-up window for git status that will display for five seconds or until we close it manually. Uh, let's run this command from a, a split down here. It'll do a, a tmux display pop-up in the current directory we're in and then close after five seconds. Uh, pop up back to our editor and zoom in full screen. Uh, tmux also comes with its own command line. Uh, we can copy almost the same command. It's the same command minus the tmux part of it. And then if we do a prefix colon, and we can paste that in here and run it, and we get the same pop up. And just like we've done before, we can take that same command and bind it to something like s. We can yank that and then run our command line, paste it in. And now if we do a prefix s, we will get the same pop up. So in the command line, we can make kind of these ad hoc uh, key bindings. And it's all the same. All these, all these things that we're making key bindings for, you can test them out from the command line or from the tmux command line. That was tmux command line.